Do you think there's any merit to the president's argument, which he essentially made on Monday, which was, you know, this was all, you know, it, that there would have been, this moment was going to happen no matter how you did it. Because if you had started evacuating sooner, that would have triggered the rush to the exits. That no matter what, this, to borrow a, a favorite movie quote of mine, which is everything ends badly or else it wouldn't end, that this was always going to end badly. Uh, is there any merit to that argument? Well, I think it depends on at what level you're speaking, right? When it comes to the U.S. involvement and our ability to have a military victory in this conflict, um, I don't believe that that was possible. I think a negotiated political solution was all we could have. So to that extent, when it comes to the withdrawal, it was never going to be clean. It was never going to be pretty. But there was a big difference between it not being a perfect outcome and having quite possibly the worst of all worlds. I mean, what we are in right now is the nightmare scenario that many of us had worried about and had said, if we are withdrawing, we need to keep this in mind. We need to worry about our Afghan allies. Uh, we can't control what the Taliban are going to do, but we can control what we do before we have our withdrawal date. And so I, I am at, not at all sympathetic to the argument that there was no way we could have prevented this. The operational, strategic, and intelligence failures that led us to this point deserve strong reckoning after we get through this chaotic emergency moment. But again, we cannot wash our hands of this problem. The people who are in danger right now are the people who are in danger because we put them there, because they served alongside us, because they signed up to help us out. Right. So this is not a situation where we can just walk away, throw up our hands, and say, well, we tried. That's not good enough.